Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. And as you can tell, I once again, it is going to be a special type of video because um, while there are new leaks, once again, I cannot show them here because um, I want to keep my channel. So uh, I have Lady Diva here, uh, Fierce, uh, to help me with kind of um, to kind of relate some of the information I'm going to talk about. So she's kind of like my um, my object here that I'm going to use to kind of um, show y'all what I mean. Uh, kind of like, I guess, a reference. I don't know, as a reference, yeah. Uh, so, of course, you see this, you've seen the thumbnail. It's about the new Cleopatra um, doll, the new fierce Cleopatra doll. And the uh, link will be down below to my posts uh, where you can actually see her pictures on Instagram. Uh, I just don't want to risk it and show anything here that might get me in trouble. So um, that's why, once again, Lady Diva is here, which I haven't reviewed her. I haven't. I should. But I feel like the train, you know, the ship has sailed. It's a little late for me now. Um, and I still have to get the other three uh, dolls from this lineup. You know, uh, Neonlicious, the Royal Bee and uh swag i still have to get them but honestly like they're not my priority like there's so many dolls coming out and i usually don't even get the repeat characters um like multiples of characters um uh like i only get like the original release of the of a character uh so me having this lady diva you know in this new look is already something different um so i'm i'm, I'm glad i have her she's my favorite by far so i will get the other ones for sure Especially because this new Cleopatra doll looks very promising. She's very pretty. Um, if, you, if you've seen the pictures, you know what I mean. She looks stunning, like literally stunning chef's kiss. Uh, by the way, here's my iPad if you are wondering. Um, so that's where I'm going to look at the images that I can't show. So, but yeah, uh, she is stunning and I will probably, I will get the other gals from the fierce lineup series one also because you know kitty k is coming series two candylicious of course and Kin kitty k is one of my favorite characters like ever so definitely have to get her as well but yeah i'm tight on money i i just purchased cleo denial from the haunt couture lineup on ebay she was super expensive but uh she had the best face up and so sometimes you got to spend more to get the best face up and like listen if I'm going to spend a bunch of money, I'm going to spend it on a doll that I'm 100% in love with. And she is my gal. Uh, she is on her way now. And I'm going to get the other Hunt Couture dolls as well. Hopefully, I can convince my dad to buy them for me as a birthday gift. But uh, that's completely off track here. What are you doing to me? Uh, so, <laughs> um, the Cleopatra doll. She uh, is going to retail at a hundred bucks, ninety nine, um, and ninety nine. Yeah, ninety nine is the price, but a hundred basically rounding up. Um, she's going to be releasing uh, in October. Apparently, October, you know, fall. So she's coming out very soon. And so the box, I will describe the box now. The box is round, basically. So picture. Uh, Lady Diva here, she's Cleopatra, she's in the middle, and then the box is round, it's plastic, and then there's actually an outer casing, uh, there's like two sleeves, it's like cardboard, that fold up, and they form kind of like wings, it's really beautiful, uh, it's connected at the bottom here with a little swivel, um, and so there's also a latch that you can um, peel off, it's Velcro I think, and once you do that, it actually like just literally pops open in a sleeves, part ways they drop you know and then you can see the doll in the middle and she looks stunning literally the name is at the bottom of one of the little uh holes that move down uh the little things um and then it's uh it's it's like the design of the box is very like obviously egyptian it has a lot of like beautifully uh vibrant colors azure um and at the back of the box like there's a little uh, there's a really nice scene behind of Cleopatra herself and Cleopatra in the middle she's posed very nicely very very elegantly she has one arm up not like that hang on I can't do it with one arm but she has one arm up and the other one is down like this um and uh she is wearing a, a big a lot of layering she has a lot of clothes on 
<laughs> now the original description uh, mentioned that she comes with uh, two outfits she in fact doesn't come with two outfits you only you 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 see what you get she's in full display um so she doesn't come with to, like an extra outfit per se but like I'm, like I mentioned she does have a lot of layering so technically she does come with like a underskirt over her uh, big like flowy overskirt that's in azure um, and so I, I guess you could mix and match technically but is it two outfits I don't I don't think so I don't think they're two complete separate outfits because again the over skirt is not really a skirt it's open it opens to the sides it's it's like um again it's like an over layer so it's not really a skirt that she could wear by itself because it's open you know um and then around that she has by the way the layers go down to her feet really is a really long like uh, over skirt um the underskirt it's very tight it's very like wrapped around her it's very a body forming and it's it's like this short and then it goes up to here it's it has a lot of nice um texture and then she has a little like a uh, belt here it's not a, it's not a belt but it looks like a belt it's like cinched in the fabric uh if you put back the um overlayer skirt on she also comes with a huge belt it, that is actually a belt it's a plastic belt in gold it uh, has a lot of painted on details like a lot of wings almost like this belt but it's like way more adorned way bigger um has a lot of uh, chains as well a ton of chains dangling down here like 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 this but just way way lower um and yeah i she comes with a ton of accessories like let me tell you a ton of accessories i don't think they're all metal i think the chains are probably metal but that's probably about it um everything else is probably plastic but the molding itself the painted details are honestly very incredible to behold she has a choker on and she is wearing bracelets on each uh, like little cuffs on each uh wrist and she also has them printed on details uh, of wings on her arms which look very nice she also has a like these little um sleeves that look like wings that she can hold so they droop that they droop down like this i think you know what i mean like it, it's almost like the uh flying effect uh like that you would get if she if if a doll had a cape behind her it looks like it's like drooping down and i believe they are uh, a part of the top that looks that matches the overlayer skirt it's very flowy it's all made out of the same fabric it's very pretty um her earrings are also very nice they also have chains that dangle with real chains it, there's also a video uh and in the video you can see that the chains actually move on the earrings so that's really fascinating it's really interesting um again very very bedazzled this doll has a ton of accessories um now her hair her hair is, she has bangs and uh, she does have, she has tinsel, so be warned, she has a lot of tinsel, but um, the tinsel isn't like too much. I believe like it's actually kind of okay. So it's just um, blue tinsel. It goes all around. It's, it's just messy. It's not like sectioned. It's just like completely sporadic, the rooting of the tinsel. Um, and then she has like, uh, I think, like four, there's two sections in the front uh, that are like twisted and they have like little gold uh, cuffs at the bottom uh, that uh, are hiding the elastics. Uh, those are dangling in front. Just, just separately, and then behind her, she has shown. She has some short uh, hair. It's like uh, a bob. Uh, it's very short. It goes like basically like here, um, and that's kind of all her hair situation. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just a short bob, and then though she does have those extra like little uh, tendrils, uh, twist twisties going down two on each side and she's also wearing a, a a beautiful uh like not crown but like a head piece that uh is plastic again i think it's plastic uh it's uh goes around her uh bangs right here and she has it has like wings 
coming out, sticking from the sides, which look uh, look great. Um, and then in the middle here, the two snakes, there's like two snakes on each side, they meet in the middle and they form a little heart. That's so cute. And once again, a ton of uh, uh, painted on details. Uh, I'm telling you like, um, she is very expensive, but like, damn, if she doesn't have a lot of details, a lot of accessories, um, yeah, seriously. And her face up is really pretty. She's looking to this side. So to, so from my perspective, the right, and from Lady Diva's perspective to the left. <laughs> so yeah, she's looking this way. I believe that's the same direction that Swag is looking in. Um, she has some green eyes. Her makeup's very, um, very pretty, but actually not too elaborate. She has some uh, shimmery, um, azure uh, eyeshadow that's glittery and then she has some uh gold eyeshadow above that kind of reaching her eyebrows as well um her lips are lined she has some lip liner on in a darker shade um and then she has a really nice kind of berry toned kind of cherry 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 yeah reddish a reddish pink uh, all around uh, filling up that lip liner. So yes, that is her makeup situation. And um, what else? I think I've talked about everything. Uh, yeah, uh, so the way that her pieces are structured, again, I'm not really sure. Uh, no one has really undressed her yet to like kind of show what pieces she comes with. So again, two outfits, not sure, but she does have a underskirt on that's really nice. And like I mentioned, oh yeah, her shoes. Her shoes are actually kind of basic. They're boots in gold, have some nice painted details. The boots actually um, are round here on the tippy toes and they actually go up to here, I think, like Lady Diva's boots. Um, they cover everything. I can't see how the heel looks like or how it's shaped, but on this boot, she has a lot, of, a lot of gems painted on. And on this one, she does not, but on this side, uh, it almost looks like her boot is connected to, to some um, extra uh, thing that's wrapped around her leg here. It looks like a snake going up. Um, again, if you've seen the picture, you know what I mean. Um, and I do think it's probably a separate piece, just like little accessory, leg accessory, um, but it just looks connected. So that is all I have to say, I guess. I cannot believe I just took 12 minutes to describe something that I can't even show y'all. So I hope um, I was okay. <laughs> Again, I hope y'all check out the link down in the description um, to actually see the, see the pictures yourself. Um, and if you've seen them, please let me know what you thought of her. I think she's a stunning looking doll. Uh, will I get her? Yeah, for sure. When, if she releases immediately, I'm not sure because she might be more expensive here where I live. And like I mentioned, I'm I'm not like in a good financial uh, spot right now. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I, 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 I'm behind. I have to buy so many new dolls that I can't afford. So yeah, I don't know if I can actually ever buy her, but I think she's really beautiful. She's really, really well designed. I just, I do wonder like why they didn't, they didn't give her like a second outfit and also why she doesn't come with like a brush or like anything else, like any accessories. Um, maybe she does, maybe she does, we don't know. Again, there aren't any unboxing videos as of right now, um, but she does come with a stand, I'm pretty sure. And it also seems as though her body is a little bit proportioned differently. Uh, so the body here is narrow on the top, it's like pear-shaped and really lanky at the bottom, lanky uh, arms. But on Cleopatra, it seems as though her arms are shorter and her shoulders a little bit more wide to kind of um, make it more proportionate. So it is a little bit of an updated body sculpt, but not really much different. It looks almost exactly the same. So yeah, anyways, uh, I think she's beautiful. I, I would love to get her one day. Uh, but yeah, again, if you've seen pictures, let me know what you thought of this new Cleopatra doll. And yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Um, again, be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more. LOL surprise doll news, doll reviews, episode reaction videos, LOL tweens news, and a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time stay peachy.
Kisses.